Hello, everybody. <clears throat> this is April. I am back again. Um, I'm somewhat in a chipper mood today. All right, so just quick little video because I just had a little epiphany um, that I want to share. And I got to figure out what I'm going to title this. But uh, so last night, I was listening to a John Paul Jackson um like teaching it was like a like a teaching teaser because I didn't really get to the full teaching anyway um and you know how just the simplest little things can be these little epiphanies so he was explaining how you know God is everlasting and he went into even more depth that um a concept that I've kind of heard before but I won't get into that here but um, the point that it is relevant is he was saying how God is eternal, but the angels and us, um, we are everlasting. And, and the distinction that he was making in the definitions of those two words, he said is that everlasting is that once God created them, they will exist forevermore at, from that point onward and um and when I heard this I was just like okay that makes sense you know la di da um but it wasn't until just now this morning um that this just kind of clicked um so one of the biggest bones that I've picked with God, even just recently, and I know this this has to be one of the top like bones picked with God, and I, that might be what I title this, but um, is like okay, if God can do anything, if He is all powerful, then and and if He knows what's going to happen ahead of time, right? Then why would He create? Lucifer to begin with or why wouldn't he just get rid of Lucifer well I guess this well not now that I think about it it only addresses like part of it <laughs> anyway um it only addresses a part of it but hey at least it, it's it's still something so anyway what I believe I realized this morning is once God creates something It's not his prerogative, it's not his nature, I guess, to uncreate it. And so that at least somewhat, in some aspect, addresses like, well, why didn't he just get rid of Lucifer once Lucifer rebelled, you know? And um, I, I mean, I guess it still doesn't address... <laughs> Okay, if he knew ahead of time that Lucifer was going to rebel, then why did he create him in the first place? Um, I mean, this is such an existential topic that you could go in so many directions with it. Like, well, maybe God knew that even if he didn't create Lucifer and created some other creature in his place, that that one would still rebel. Or, I don't know. You know, I'm not God, obviously. But it does kind of at least address an aspect of it of like, I, I now believe I, uh, that, I get, uh, that, that once God creates, once he creates something, once he creates something, he doesn't uncreate it. And so that would answer, okay, so why do we got to go through all this? Why, you know, why is Lucifer allowed to influence one third of the angels and, and, you know, the fallen angels and the Nephilim and, and just all the horrible things that happen in this world because, you know, it just, I don't know. I guess it doesn't answer everything, but it at least answers one aspect of one bone you can pick with God. So I just wanted to share that with everybody, um, that Lucifer is an everlasting being, just like, um, even babies that are aborted or are miscarried, there's still a soul there that God issued like out of heaven, so to speak. So, um, 
because I've heard, you know, testimonies of people who have gone to heaven and seen, like, people, like, babies that, you know, were aborted or miscarried or died at a young age or whatever. Um, so I think that is at least a partial answer to one of the big existential questions of, like, okay, so why didn't God just wipe out Lucifer? Because it's not God's prerogative it's not his nature and so um to elaborate on that a little bit more I think that is why he created hell as the punishment place for all who are evil and um and rebel and all of that um because once we die our consciousness does not die we are everlasting our soul is everlasting um we will exist. Our consciousness will go on everlasting from the point that it was issued out of heaven, that it was created out of heaven. Um, so, like I said, it doesn't address everything, but it, 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 it at least is an answer to, like, one aspect of something. <laughs> um, <clears throat> these kind of things you gotta think through, but, um, my cat is staring at me. Hi, Tigress. What are you staring at? Oh, you want food. Um, <clears throat> is there anything else on this topic I want to share? So anyway, the, just food for thought, food for content, for, for prayerful contemplation. Um, God has made all of us, the angels, you know, Lucifer, we are everlasting from the point that our soul is created issued out of heaven we are everlasting and he does not uncreate anything that he makes he may roll out judgments he may like wipe things out um in a certain like dimension you know um because there was the age before our age that he wiped out and you know like but he's not like it kind of goes along with that scientific principle Oh, what was that? There's a scientific principle of, like, how, in terms of, like, matter, everything, like, there's no such thing as, like, um, like, matter, like, disappearing. It just transforms form or whatever, something along those lines. I remember that from science classes. <laughs> um... And so, yeah, I think that all kind of connects together. Like, once God creates it, it doesn't, he doesn't uncreate it. Once there's matter, so to speak, um, it may it, it may change form. God may allow it to change form or may decree for it to change form or, di or dimension, but it doesn't ever stop existing. So, so yeah, kind of interesting. Um, alright, I'll shut up now. <laughs> alright, I bless you all in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.